What is up everybody? Today we have some deadlifts and some bench. So we got my uh, my primary deadlift, my primary bench, actually in primary bench deadlift order. Uh, so I bench first and um, it should be should be good. I'm not going for any PRs today besides maybe like rep PRs like accessory wise but like no major PRs. Um, as you can see the weather is terrible behind me. It is pouring. Uh, so hopefully the audio is not terrible, but this mic seems really good from the last video I recorded I started editing it and The audio seemed really really good. So that's good um, I am going to my powerlifting gym today uh, So that is also good And uh, yeah, so we can talk a little bit about the session. So um, I Unfortunately for me have to retake my bench from week one because my coach thinks that I overshot a little bit, which I did. It was supposed to be um, at six to six and a half, I believe. And I did two and a half kilos under my all-time PR of 105. I did one of 2.5 kilos. So it moved at like a seven, seven and a half in my opinion. So uh, I said it moved at a six and a half and it was supposed to be like a five to six, I think. My coach thinks it moves at like a seven and a half, seven. So I'm retaking it this week because I have seven to seven and a half this week. So I'm retaking it. He wants my paws to be better and he wants my chest to be higher. So we're going to make sure that happens today. My bench going to look really good today. I want one or 2.5 to fly, which is it's 225, by the way. Um, I want it to fly like it did last week, but with a better pause and better everything. So uh, that should be good. My deadlift, I'm going to aim for about 155 today. I did 140 last week. It moves really easy, but I'm also kind of starting to transition to sumo a little bit. Not really, but like I pull sumo now um, once a week, and I pull conventional once a week. So I'm trying to just make my sumo a little better. I think I'm a little bit more comfortable with conventional still because I've been doing it for so long. But my sumo, I seem like I'm pretty strong with. And uh, the when I did it last time, my hands are really, really close together. I didn't realize that my coach was like, yeah, your hands are way too close. Um, so hopefully widening the hands a little bit can help with that. And uh, hopefully this rain stops so I can drive easier and I can talk easier because it's very loud. Um, this is annoying. Hey, kind of slow down. Nice. Um, but anyway, so we have a big dead session, big bend session, and we have a bunch of accessories. The accessories are really hard today, actually. Um, I have... Um, Called. I have um, hyper extensions. I have uh, tricep pushdowns. I have tricep dips, and I have what else do I have? Um, oh my god! I have another like posterior chain exercise. I think. Oh, a dumbbell RDLs. So today's accessories are actually pretty hard, and they're actually like pretty fun. So because I have, they're all pretty much new, like except for dips and pushdowns, I've been doing forever. But I haven't been doing hyper extensions because I've never had a hyper extension machine, which I think is one of the best machines in the world. And um, I also have not been doing dumbbell RDLs just because I don't know why. But my coach really wants to beef up my posterior chain because he thinks I can deadlift a lot more. But he thinks my posterior chain is small, which it is. I mean, my whole body's kind of small right now. So he's like, he thinks your my posterior chain is pretty small for the weight that I can be lifting. Um, so our main goal right now is to beef up my posterior chain and it, it seems like it's working pretty well. I have some tips on bench this week that I think are going to work out well for me, like some cues and stuff that I've been doing. Like my, my last bench session, I did a tempo bench and two count pauses and it moves absolutely beautifully. I did 210, uh, for my tempo and my pauses and it was, it was beautiful. Um, form was way better. Everything was way locked in. Chest was way higher. Paws was way better. Everything looked way better. So I'm going to make sure that happens again today. I have a new way to set up. I don't know if I've done it since I've been on the channel. Maybe with my Larson in my last session. But you guys haven't actually seen me bench with my heels down with the new setup. So that's good. I'm going to try to hone in on that setup today as well. And uh, yeah, everything should go well. Um, it's going to be a tough day. But I like that. Yesterday's session was, was good. I tied my all-time squat PR, which I hit for a double, to be fair. Uh, my last block, my last two blocks ago, 
I hit for a double at eight, but it was really at like nine and a half. I definitely could not have got another rep. Um, and I moved it today, yesterday at a seven really easily, maybe easier than a seven. So that's beautiful. Um, my, my, everything is way better. I kept my chest down. I, uh, like have my hips be in a better spot. My, my, there's more power into the hole, more control into the hole. Depth was good. Like everything was perfect on my squat yesterday. So that's really good. I'm happy about that. Um, and I did some lower back work yesterday, so I'm just hoping it doesn't affect me today. It shouldn't, but we'll, we'll see. I hope it doesn't. I'm kind of disappointed in my dead right now just because I pulled 140 week one, 140 kilo, and I'm going to pull 155 hopefully today. But it's a 15 kilo jump, which is a big deal. But my PR is like, I, it's 365 in pounds, and it was at like an RP9 at my mock meet two months ago. And I know I can hit more than that right now, and I like I'm on track to not hit more than that. This block which sucks because I'd like to hit like at least like 350 at like an RP seven or an eight, but uh, I don't think that's gonna happen just because next week I'm supposed to pretty much retake the same RPE. So even if I do boost something, it'll be like two and a half kilos or five kilos. It won't be any like big weight, um, and that'd be like max 160 kilos, which I'm pretty sure I did 162 and a half. I believe that's the number. Um, is 365. So that's a little disappointing to me just because I know I can lift more. But that's also the other reason I might want to switch to sumo. Just because I feel like my conventional is really inconsistent. Like I found a bunch of forms that have worked for me. And I just feel like every time I go onto the bar, it just feels different. Like no matter what I do, it feels different. Like I feel like like today I have like, you know, I'm doing the hamstring tension one, which is like the main, the, the best form you can possibly do. Keep a lot of hamstring tension, hinge really high for me and just, you know, straighten my arms, everything, pull slack really hard, and I do it, and I'm sure it will feel fine, because it's still, like, I know how to deadlift now, and my form is better, but I just feel like when I pull sumo, it's very consistent, because your feet have to be in the exact same spot, your hands will be in the exact same spot, all you have to pretty much do is pull slack, wedge, and pull, whereas in conventional, there's not really, to me, like, there is a wedge, but I don't know how to do it, or I just, I'm too tall, and my leverages suck for it, so, like, my wedge is kind of non-existent. So, it's just, like, I brace, grab the bar, slack pull, and rip. It's not really, like, a, okay, brace, set up, position, brace again, slack pull, wedge into the bar, and rip. It's just, like, there's more movements with sumo, which, honestly, might be better for me. Just my leverage in general also might be better for sumo. I don't actually know because I have pretty long arms is why my bench is so uh so much range of motion so we'll see how all that goes but i'm gonna try a few new things today um and i'll let you go let you guys know how it goes after the gym i don't know how much i'll talk in the gym today probably a lot because this gym is quiet and there's nobody here so i'd like to like talk to you guys after each set maybe or like after my working sets at least and just talk about how they were we'll see i always say that and then i get locked in and i don't do that so uh we'll see but I got a nice 20 minute drive to the gym and uh, see you guys there. All right, so everything feels uh, really good right now. Uh, new form feels good. Feels a little heavy, but it's the last one up. Um, but everything feels good. I hope it looks good too. So, uh, yeah, it's hot. Last one. I'm going to get a lift off of this and then we got top set. Three, two, one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, didn't feel bad. Um, the pause was a little iffy, but the form is good. It's just pause a little iffy. Feels good though. Um, now I got five 
So let's make these both easy. And uh, let's go. Again, not bad. Um, now I got one by five for Larson, and then back ends of Larson. So, Let's see how this goes. This should be pretty easy. Pretty easy. Alright, so Larson has been moving the best of all my lifts. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, Larson moving really well. So I have two more back downs. These are going to be super light because I was already light. So these are 70 kilo, 155. Uh, 2x5 back down so let's make these really strict for them. Come on. Good. All right, that last one was really good. This is uh, my last set. I just want to see if my arms are stacked. So, camera's here. All right, last set. Come on. Oh yeah, deads. All right, this is a uh, second to last one. Up, um, feels good right now. I've lightened my grip, so I have all my hands on the all my fingers in the early. Uh, so we'll see how that feels good right now. But it's the second to last one. Up. Hopefully, this flies. Last one flies.
and we go for a big number, but we'll see. Let's get it. Bro. Bro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're pretty good. Oh, uh. Alright, last one up. Put some baby powder on, so this should help it move a little easier. Alright, see what moved. Alright, let's get it. Backdowns. All right, so like I said, I didn't say. So I guess it's my coach. It felt heavy, but it also felt easy. Like I felt like I could have done three more. It was just heavy. So I, I said RB six and a half. Um, we'll see what he says. He's probably gonna say it's heavier, but it really didn't feel bad. I just haven't touched this weight in a long time. So we got have three by four backdowns and uh, see how these move. That's really good. Oh good, one more. Alright. Last set. Let's get it. I think we have dips now. Alright, we got a top set of 5 on dips, and then we have two back downs of 10. Um, top set, I mean, I have a 35 pound plate on, so it's a weird dip setup, but it works. Let's go. Alright, yeah, I like to get that one super, super controlled. Backdowns will be super controlled too. I'm doing unweighted backdowns. Uh, 2x10. Alright, I get 2x10. Unweighted, super controlled. Come on.
Oh shit. One more. Ow. Oh. Alright, come on, come on. Holy shit. Oh. Alright. Alright, Adios. Alright, I got 3 by 8 now, Adios. So. My hip's a little iffy, but. Just, we'll grind through it real quick. I hate Adios. So, you know, especially Dumbbell. Dumbbell. But. Whatever. Gotta get it done, right? I am strapped up. Because I'm a bitch. I could probably go heavier, but I'm not going to right now. Alright, I could definitely do more, but I'm just going to go slower, because my hip's a little iffy, and I already did deads, and squats, and all this bullshit within the last few days, and I have hypertensions after, so don't need to push it. Just going to go slower, more controlled. <laughs> One more. I can knock it over here. I lied. Alright. Last set. Last set was actually pretty hard, so happy I didn't go heavier. Um, that would have been really hard if I went heavier. But let's go. Feels like hard, but good, so we'll see. Alright, hypertensions. Alright, one of the hardest machines in here. I don't know what this is. Um, they're just hard as fuck. But, get like 12 to 15. I keep it really light because I like one pretty hard, and I think it's a really hard machine. So. Oh, Alright, cool. Nope, see you guys in the next straight. There we go.
Okay, I found a lot easier. Last time I did it, last time was the first time I ever did it in my life, so maybe that's why. Um, so, I'll put a little bit of weight on, not much. Alright, I added fives, so. Now we have 30. Hopefully, it was the same as the last time. One more. So this torture. All right, that's it. Keeping it there because that was hard. This I want to get the biggest stretch possible ever. That's my goal. So keep the weight here. And, uh, big stretch. Big stretch. Holy fuck. Okay. And the triceps. Oh my god. Alright, now I have four sets. Push downs. Four sets of twelve. Super controlled. Keep it light. Let's get it. Three more. All right, I raised the weight to 110, so just 10 pounds. Uh, still about to get 12, but we'll see. It was a little too easy, so let's go three more. Two more. All right, two more. That was hard. So, I'd like to get twelve again. Hopefully, it's the goal. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> 
Oh my god. Oh. Holy, alright, one more, one more set. Alright, last set of the day, ending with meltdown in the ears, too. Come on, finish this shit strong, baby. I'm dying, so let's get it. On a pose, too. I feel, feel pumped. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. One more. Come on. Easy. Ugh. Why? Alright, let's pause. Let's pause. Up is probably not very much leg, but the triceps are really gonna thrive here. Solid workout. Let's get in the car. All right. So overall, super, super solid workout. Really, really happy with everything that happened today. We can talk about it. It was two hours and 35 minutes, which is, uh, it's actually crazy because I didn't talk to one person in there. I don't know anybody in there today. So I didn't talk to one person. That was two hours and 30 minutes of me straight grinding my workout. So, I mean, I was working. I was, I was definitely working today, which is good. Um, so we can go in order. Uh, bench. So bench is to me a little iffy. My coach thinks I was better than it was which is good actually um to me it felt a little weird because like i think last week honestly it moved better but it was a little jolty and the pause was a little iffy as well as it was this week so i don't know um but like it wasn't bad or anything like that's used that was my max until a few weeks ago and it's moving at a seven seven and a half debatedly so that's perfect next week i'm taking 107.5 which will be an all-time pr so i'm excited for that um, my back down is the same thing. Uh, made, trying to make sure pauses were pretty good and everything. Larson moves really well, though. That is one thing I'm going to say. Larson, like, I had numbers, like, a range for, like, what my Larson should be today. And I did the top range. And I think it, it still moved at a 6. It's supposed to move at a 7. I think my Larson moved really, really well. So I'm really happy about that. Um, most importantly for bench, I think my arch is getting way, way, way better than it was. Like, every time I go to bench, my arch gets better and better and better, which is obviously the goal. So that's, I'm really happy with that, actually. Um, the only thing I will say is today, like, my legs, obviously, I'm trying to find my foot position to where I can plant my heels, which I did today. Today wasn't bad at all, and I did more in front and more in there, like my coach wanted me to. Um, so that is a good thing. The only thing I will say is I think my rack height was one too low today. The only problem I really have with this gym is the racks. The racks are custom racks, which is kind of messed up in the sense that a TSS rack or like a normal competition rack, right? Every single number you have on the rack is, is a height and it's the same. All the heights are the same. So it's very like annoying to have different numbers with different rack heights. So like, for example, my other gym on the TSS rack, I squat on 13 and I bench on 11. Here, I squat on 14 and I was benching on 12, but I think I have to bench on 13, which means the racks, like the difference between each number is different on both racks. So I don't, that's kind of annoying to be honest, but aside from that, I actually really like the gym. Like, the, I like their, we have a lot of plates. I don't mind the Ohio bar either. The Ohio bar is pretty good. Uh, it's not as, like, the TSS bar is an awful bar, but that's what we're using, so I'd rather use that. But Ohio bars aren't that bad. Way better than the Texas bar I have in the other gym and or the Elite FTS's bars, which are terrible. Um, as well, um, 
Um, um, um, um, what else am I saying? Um, okay. Uh, we can go to deads now. So, oh, actually, no, one thing I want to say for bench. I think my pause was iffy today. More so because I was trying to, I had my hands too turned inwards. I didn't like that. My elbows were softer, which I was what I was trying to do. But my hands were a little too far inwards, and it was kind of hurting my wrist. So I think I just have to turn my hands a little bit less, keep the elbows where they are, and put the feet a little bit farther in front of me so I can just grind a little more, push myself into position. But my arch is getting better. Everything felt good. And it was a better rep than it was last week. It was just different. But that's good. Um, Deads. I widened my grip for deads to my pinky where the knurling starts. So every finger I have is on the knurling. It used to be my middle finger was where the knurling starts. So I had my... Um, my um, ring finger and my pinky finger on the smooth, and then the, my other two fingers on the knurling. Um, I widened it, and I saw that front angle, which I recorded. I think that was the best angle I had today because it showed me how my arms looked, and it looked really good. It looked way better. The only reason I changed my grip is because my coach said when I pull sumo, which you guys saw in my last video, he wants my grip to be a lot wider, and he said you should have probably three fingers on the knurling and one on the smooth or all fingers on the knurling. So I did all fingers on the knurling, and it felt way, way better. That's the most weight I've hit in a really long time. Um, and next week, I think I'm going to hit like 165, which is nice. That's a, That will be a PR, I believe. Um, so that I'm hyped for. So I'm, I'm looking forward to deads. Um, they felt really good. Like I said to you guys and to I said to my coach already in the gym, um, it, it's, it felt really heavy, but it also felt like I could do a more. Like, it felt like it was a good RP7, but it also felt heavy. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, that's kind of the difference between RP and RIR, I think. And, like, that's the main definition, right? RIR means you can do three more reps in reserves. You could have done three more reps easily. Not easily, but you could have done three more reps. RP is not that. RP is your rate of perceived exertion. So, I think... I don't know if I could have got three more reps, to be honest. So, I don't think it was three RIR, but I do think it was RP7 because I feel like I could have done more weight at the same RP for more reps, meaning it's not RP seven and a half because I can't do three. That means I can only do two and a half more. I can do more than two and a half more, but I also couldn't do three. So that's the difference in RP and RIR. It's really hard to like determine most of the time, but I think that's the main difference right there. It's like a good example. I think that's RP seven, even though I don't know if I can get three more reps, that's still RP seven. Does that make like, because of how much weight I have room with before it's RP nine or 10 that makes it RP7. That's just how it works. It's just weird to explain, and it's weird to understand until you get used to it, and I'm starting to get used to it now, but my coach agreed it was in the RP, and I was like, I thought he was going to say it was like RP9. And he agreed, because he knows. That's how it is. Like, some people are just different. So I think that's a good reason to use RP if you're a powerlifter. One of the best reasons to use RP is that right there, because that is RP7, but it's not 3 IRI, RIR, which is reps and reserve, which is what I use for my accessory movements. So other than deads, that felt really good. The 4x3 back down I had today... Sorry, the 3x4 back down I had today, I upped by 5 kilos from last week at the same RPE, and it was actually half an RPE easier. I think all my, my back downs today were RP5.5, and, um, and last week I said all my back downs were RP6, and it was 125. Today was 130, and it, I felt like it was an easier RPE. So the grip is definitely better. I'm definitely going to keep that. I'm also going to do that for Sumo when I do it on Tuesday. Um, it felt really, really good, though. I'm really happy about every lift today. I wish I can bench more today. But I understand. I, I took way too high of a number week one, so it's okay capping me today. Like, it was fine. Originally, we were going to go down to 100 today, and I'm happy we didn't because that would be degressing and taking a bigger jump, which I don't think is a good idea. So we get a 5-kilo jump for next week, and it's at, I believe, like RP 8.5 or something. So it can be, like, pretty close to failure, which is good because I haven't done that in a long time. Then it'll be an all-time PR, and then I'll kind of know what I'm hitting for the last week of my block before comp, and then hopefully I know what I'm hitting for comp. So I'm excited. I'm getting really close to everything. It's like, coming together i'm onto like heavyweights next week super heavyweights then i get like a slight little break then i get heavyweights and then i get all time prs hopefully for every lift and then i get my tape that is my taper and then i taper and then i have my meat and then i get all time prs again hopefully that's the goal so i'm really excited it's really close now um and yeah everything's everything's looking good right now accessories felt really good today rdls are so hard but i think they're actually a really good movement for me because my hamstrings are pretty weak and it just gets me into like the dead, like the conventional deadlift like motion, because of how you have to bend down for it, and that's how I set up for my deads. So that's good. Um, hyper extensions are like the hardest things in the world. They destroy your lower back, but they feel really good. I think they're a really good movement. Um, I, I'm doing them pretty light right now, but I also want to have some control. 
And like you saw that last set, I was doing the fucking Samsung, like put my head up, like I was I was dying. So that's good. Tries to push downs always kill me. Got a good pump today, I believe. I didn't see the posing. I didn't watch it, but I don't I don't care. I felt like a good pump. And uh, the dips, I were really controlled. I also look like I controlled those dips like crazy. I could have probably went heavier for my top set today. So next week I'll go heavier on my my top set of five. But my back downs at ten with no weight, I think, are perfect because I can control it super super well. So again, solid workout. Um, I'm hopefully going to film tomorrow. Or well, not tomorrow. I have off. I'm hopefully going to film Thursday because that will. Or sorry, I'll hopefully film. No, I, I wait. Oh my god, tomorrow Sunday. I'll hopefully film Monday, which is the day before my SPD. And then I'll hopefully also film Wednesday, which should both be in my other gym. Um, cause mostly accessory and back days and stuff, which is cool. So, uh, Monday and Thursday, sorry, not Monday and Wednesday. I forgot how weird my split is right now because I take off Wednesdays. It's all, it's all messed up, but it's whatever. Solid workout. Coach is really helping me right now. And I think, uh, everything's looking really good right now. So we're, we're on a good trend and, uh, it's only week two. I'll see you guys in the next one.